Hello everyone, this is She She, and today I am going to start a series, uh, hopefully it's not very long, of this kit that I picked up from Ruby's store. It's called um, the Heartfelt Creations Card Kit. This is the number. I'll show you right here. It's the Camellia Carnations Kit. And I'm going to be working on some cards from this kit. These are really great if you don't know how to make any of their beautiful cards on their website. And you don't really know how to layer the papers. I'm not too great with um, working with the papers because the papers are so beautiful you don't want to cut into them and maybe you need some help so I'm going to make this card right here from the kit and what's beautiful about the kit is everything is cut out for you and all you have to do is put it together that's it <laughs> So I'm just going to look at the picture and just copy off what's in the picture. So this is really easy. This is also great if you don't own all their dies or papers and you just want to make a card. So there's three cards in the kit. So it's, you know, just like buying a, a card. But you're hand making it yourself to give as a gift to that special someone. So you get a card base, you get the layering papers, everything to make the card. Even the die cuts and the flowers to shape the card. So here's all my little flowers and everything you need to layer those flowers. So this is from the Camellia Carnation collection and I don't own the dies. So this was great for me. I do have a paper pad from that collection. So I am still working on getting the stamps and dies. I think I'm gonna go with the small ones because now that I see there are the perfect size and I do have the dies for this part I think. I'm not sure I have to double check my stash but I believe this is like the fanciful carnation I have to double check the image but I have something similar to that so I am going to make that card and I'm gonna look at the image again to see just how it is so I can dupe that card so what it looks like is maybe this was cut apart because I only have one piece here that's what it looks like yeah one piece and this was cut apart and let's see if there's any directions in here yeah, there's step-by-step -step instructions. It says the pieces you need, step-by-step -step instructions, extra paper pieces in case you mess up. So, that is perfect. And then there's also some sentiments. And so, for this card, it says, ha hoping your um, date is perfect. So, I need one sentiment out of here. So, I'm going to get some scissors and trim that away so I'm just gonna cut along the line okay so here I have my sentiment then I'll put the rest back in the package okay and then I'm gonna take these instructions out of the package so I know exactly what to do with this card because I did not read it beforehand so that we can all do this together in case you have what I have. So it just tells me to sponge the edges of the base, which that's what I will do. And I'm going to skip ahead because I, I know pretty much what to do as far as what the picture showed. But I'm curious about this image right here. 
what to do with it. So what I'm going to do here is read the instructions very quickly and then I'll come back and then I'll share with you what I'm supposed to do with this because I believe I am supposed to probably cut it apart because there is two pieces to it and I'm supposed to do something here at the top and I only got one piece here so I'll be back and then we'll proceed with the tutorial okay I think I have an idea of where to cut so I'm going to give my die cut some color so I'm just going to sponge on some green for this die cut just give it some color really quickly it says to use some kind of pistachio color but I don't have the exact colors so we'll do my best to dupe this it'll still turn out really pretty Then I'm going to also color my flowers. It says like a coral kind of color. So I don't have the exact coral, but I think I have something really close. So I'll also give that a color of that. And then it also says to run the flowers through the molds, which I do own. So I will do that. these kits are really wonderful if you just want to try your hand at making cards like you see on Heartfelt Creations YouTube channel or the cards that you see on their gallery on the website okay so this is what I have so far okay and I used uh, some Hampton ink that I had in my stash with a little dauber. All right, and then I have another dauber, and this is some more Hampton ink. And I'm going to color all the little flowers um, on the back and the front because you never know what side your flower is going to show. Just on the tips. So I'm just going to speed up the process while I co uh, color all the flowers. Once you have colored all of your flowers, you can run them through the molds. If you haven't seen my mold tutorial video that you can run um, multiple flowers at once, check it out. But I will demo this once more. I just spray the flowers with a light mist and then I will layer them like this at an angle. And here's another layer 
And let's see, do I have more? Okay, I'll put this one in here. And let's see, do I have some smaller? Yes, I do. And we'll just run these all at once and give it a light, light mist. Okay, then we'll just place this on top. And you'll make sure that this corner right here matches up with the one that doesn't have the corner. Place that on the mold, press it down. I'm using the Teresa Collins Cut and Boss. It's an electronic die cutting machine. It may or may not be available still. You have to do a search online to see if it's still available. So I have one plate on top, one on bottom. Okay, and then I'll just run this through. And it will emboss some detail into my flowers. Give it a nice lifelike and then uh, the directions also said to give your die cut some color around the edges like so and then all the other pieces going to ink and you will need to provide your own foam squares to pop it up if you want some dimension now if you want it heavier ink then you can I just like a light inking around the edges of my lace or eyelid oval this is really pretty I wish they had a set of these I think it's just the one that is the eyelet okay I think that's all maybe I'll do a little bit more right here okay it's all done this one can do a little bit more inking with some green or a darker green I don't usually ink a lot around mine but I'm just making it just like theirs Maybe I'll start. We'll see. Okay, that's what it looks like so far. And then it says to also ink around just this piece and your card base and the coral. I'm going to get this over here and do a light inking. I normally don't do this on my cards. And I'm just like something different. So in the comment section below, are you an inker all over your cards or do you just like it clean and simple without all the ink? 
let me know. that and here's this one seems like it takes a lot of time to do all this some people are really heavy with their inks too see it on this but it's there okay that's all done now okay I'm going to put my flowers out of the mold everything's done in one pass and now really pretty pieces together so I can start putting this together. Oh, I forgot this one too. Oops. tools here. So I'll use this tool. All right. Really don't have to do much for these flowers because the work is already done for you. Just press it down and glue them together. Alright, so from the amount of flowers I have, it doesn't look like I can put too many layers on here. So, for this one I know, for this is for the big one. So I'm going to get some glue and offset it. This one, you may need more crinkling. Give 
bit more ruffling for the uh, carnation. What I have so far, and then I'm going to do one of these. So I'm gonna just do this by hand. Now there is a piece right here to help it stay cupped up. So I'm just gonna cut this. And then we're going to glue this over like that. And then place that over that. And that's what I have for my carnation. Then we'll move on to the next one. And you just fold it in your fingers like so.
Then there is another one right here. It has a little slit that you cut right in here. And I'm going to glue this on the inside. Just offset it. put this on the back. Alright, so there is my second flower. And for these you just put these inside one another and we're going to show the outside. Which one was darker? This one was darker, so. We are going to also give it that scrunchy look. This one, you do not need the other piece that goes on the back. This one's going to go all bunched together like this. This one's going to go on the outside because more of the outside is going to show. and this is your carnation like that and you just press it all together and this is the part that's going to show on the card okay now we got all those flowers done I believe that's all the flowers we have take this away and then I'll show you the parts that we're going to cut off of the other flower okay we're 
we're just going to cut this right here. Just need like that piece for your card. And then with this piece, we'll figure out what we need from it. Okay. All right. So now we can start putting our card together. We have some glitter here too. Alright, so now is the easy part. So now we're just going to layer this on. And I need some foam squares. pretty on the back. This is going to go at the bottom. And we're going to press that down. Okay, our next layer is the frame. We're going to angle it like this. And we need some foam. Too big, hope not. Yes, this is too wide. Alright, 
So we're going to <clears throat> put this at an angle like this. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. It's down like about here. You want to be like in the rectangle and you angle it. And then off of the card base at the top. It's then still in the frame. So you don't want to angle it too much. Let's see. Let me get this right. Okay. Now I'm going to glue this down. And next up is this piece, which is going to go right in here. But first we have to place this in here, because it's going to go like in here. So it's hanging out like that. And then we need to place this piece in here. Where it is coming out and then we're going to glue our flowers on. And then um, one of these pieces is going to come down like this. But I think I need to cut this off because we only need this part of it hanging out. So pretty close, pretty close. Okay, so we almost got this going. Alright, so some of this we glue part of it, like maybe in the center, so we have some areas to tuck. because we can't glue it all down. And then we need this part that we slide in that we have hanging off. Like that. Okay. So, 
I have to put some glue on this part. So I can slide it in. And press that down. Now, this is the part where I need to glue in this piece. So it's kind of tucked out. And then one of these flaps right here is going to hold down this little flower. So we're just going to glue that on. And press that down. So it's not quite exact, but it's pretty close. Then I'm going to take this piece and tuck it like sort of right in here, like that. And then don't forget we need this piece. And you just kind of like angle this out and we're going to glue one end and then we're going to glue the bendy end and then this part And we're going to line this up right along this edge. Okay, now I have, let's see, what did I do with that piece? This part right here that I need to tuck in. Hmm, maybe I should raise this up a little bit higher so this doesn't interfere with my sentiment okay Okay, 
Now I can place this down in here. And tuck this in right in here. And then part of this will be right over here. And that's where your carnation is going to sit. And then one of these extra pieces will go over here. So I'll need to cut that off. Maybe this angles over a little bit more. I'll glue this down. Now, if you don't feel your flowers will stay, you can hot glue them. So it's pretty close, and then you add glitter. That's the last step. Okay, so here's where the magic happens. You put a little bit of glue on your flowers and add some glitter, just a little bit. And it should dry clear. And then you add some uh, glitter on your cart as well. So you have this little packet inside, the card kit. The card is turning out so pretty. So you just sprinkle that glitter on. Look how sparkly it is. They have some really good fine glitter. Then you can add some glue in different areas of the card. Did you think you might need the glitter?
just a light dusting of the glitter. And then whatever you don't use, just put it back in the little packet for the other two cards. I'm just going to tap that off. So it's not clumped up on here. And then you just set that aside to dry and you have a really, really pretty card. Okay. And here is the card. Really, really pretty and sparkly. Okay, so here is the finished card. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and maybe you'll give the card kits a try. Alright, so take care everyone and have a fabulous day.